If you're a beginner to yoga and want to increase flexibility in your shoulders and your upper back, then this 20 minute practice is just for you. My name is Katie. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you are a beginner, you might grab yourself some cushions, pillows or yoga blocks if you have them. While you're doing that, I'll let you know that this video is part of a playlist of five 20 minute yoga practices, all for beginners to help increase flexibility in different parts of the body. So definitely check that out and then you'll know which practice to do next. But for now, we'll get started with our shoulders and upper back practice. We'll be sitting on the mat to begin, so if you have your cushion, it can help a lot if you sit up on the cushion. And then just sit whatever way is most comfortable for you. Take a second to lengthen up your spine, maybe relax your vision or close your eyes here. Relax your shoulders, loosen up your jaw and then soften all of your muscles throughout your face. Start to take a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, let go of anything that the body or the mind has been holding on to today. Each time you breathe in, you're breathing in peace, and relaxation and each time you breathe out you're letting go of stress and tension connecting to that positive light and energy that is within you and that's the energy that brought you here today and is helping you to do this practice for your own well-being. We'll take one more deep breath in together and as you exhale, you can slowly start to open up the eyes, bringing yourself back. And we'll start with a few rounds of cat and cow. So you can come onto all fours into tabletop pose. When you're there, spread your fingers wide apart, have your wrists directly below your shoulders and your knees directly below your hips. So we have a nice square table push yourself away from your mat, breathe in and point your tailbone up, drop your belly down, bring your chest forward and look up for cow pose. Exhale, tailbone points down, round your spine, tuck your chin to your chest and drop your head for cat pose. We'll keep going, inhale, pointing the tailbone back up, dropping your belly, chest comes forward, eyes look up, exhale, round it all down, tuck your chin to your chest and drop your head. Keep going a few more at your own pace here. We're just getting the body warmed up, but you'll especially notice each time that you're in cat pose, you're really able to open up your shoulders and your upper back. So keep gently pushing away from the mat. When you're ready, come back into your neutral spine and from here we'll come into puppy pose. So we're just bringing the hands closer to the mat. The hips stay exactly where they are above the knees. Then slowly start to melt your chest down towards your mat, maybe bringing your forehead to the floor 
or onto a cushion or yoga block here. Really feeling that opening throughout your upper back. Breathe into whatever tightness you're feeling and just allow gravity and your breath to dissolve whatever tension is in there. Now, if this pose becomes too intense, you can always take a bend into your elbows and that will take a little bit of the pressure out of your back. Take one or two more big breaths in and out. And in your own time, you can slowly start to bring yourself back into tabletop pose. And we'll just release the upper back and the shoulders a little bit further here. Maybe you can do some cat poses. Inhale to bring it back to cow. Just releasing anything that might have gathered in your body in that puppy pose. Now from here, we'll make our way into an extended child's pose. So you can bring your big toes together and take your knees out nice and wide apart. We'll sit the hips back onto the heels here. If they don't make it back, you can take your cushion and put it in underneath. We'll keep our hands reaching towards the front of the mat here. That'll help to open up the shoulders. Release your forehead to the ground or onto your hands here if needed. Take some time just to drop, drop all of your muscles, drop whatever thoughts you're thinking, come back to your breath. Finding that positive energy, that light within you that brought you here. And take some time to strengthen your connection to that energy. Completely normal here if your mind has drifted away. Come back and we'll only be here for a few more breaths. Challenge yourself to stay focused on those breaths. Now let's push our finger pads down into the mat. Use a breath in to pull yourself up, coming back towards tabletop pose. But this time we're making our way into downward dog. So you can remove your cushion if you're using one. Hands reaching towards the front of the mat, toes curl onto the back of the mat, lift your knees, drag your hips up and back. And we'll take some time here just to get settled into the down dog so you can paddle your feet, sway your hips from side to side, do whatever feels good for you here. Keep that connection to those deep belly breaths. Now we'll find a little bit of stillness in down dog. So feet are about hip distance apart. Knees can stay bent. Point your tailbone up towards the sky and release your head towards your mat. And the more you get your ears in line with your biceps here, the more of an opening you'll feel around your upper back and within your shoulders. 
keep pushing yourself away from your hands and just breathe into whatever tightness you're feeling here. Heels don't have to touch the mat, but you can encourage them down to create a deeper stretch. Keep those deep belly breaths coming in and out. We're almost there. And then nice and slowly drop both of your knees back down onto your mat. And we'll be sitting on the mat for the next few poses. So as always, grab your cushion or your yoga block and find whatever way is most comfortable for you to sit. So from here, we're coming into a pose called Eagle Arms. Again, it's a super great way to release tension from your shoulders and it'll target the upper back as well. So when you're ready, reach that right arm out in front of you, push it away as far as you can, and then swing the left arm in underneath. First option here is to hold the shoulders with opposite hands. And then the second option to go a little bit deeper is to take a twist into your arms if you can, having your palms facing each other. Wherever you are here is fine. You'll still get all the benefits of the pose. When you're ready, you can start to slowly lift your elbows up. Maybe drop your chin towards your chest. Find your breath. And we'll stay here for a moment. Just letting everything open up and all that tension is just evaporating from your upper back and your shoulders. With time, your body might start to open up a little bit more. And if it does, you can gently encourage your elbows to go a little bit higher. Always listening to your body and respecting its limitations. We'll take one more full breath in. On your exhale, you can start to slowly release the pose. Do whatever you need to do here. You might need to circle out your shoulders or maybe stretch through your neck. And when you're ready, we'll go to the opposite side. So your left arm reaches out, push it away, bring the right arm underneath, come to hold opposite shoulders, or find that twist in your arms to have your palms facing each other. Wherever you are, slowly lift your elbows up, drop your chest towards your chin, other way around, drop your chin towards your chest. Notice your breath. And you can really use your breath in this pose. The deeper you can breathe, the more you can take that breath up into your chest as well, the more of an opening you'll find. So first fill up your belly, then your chest, then your throat.
taking your last few big breaths here. And then you can start to undo everything. Again, release that pose however feels right for you. And sometimes it can be nice to do a little spinal twist here. And then we'll come back to center. From here, you can interlock your fingers in behind your back and bring your fist over to the right side of your rib cage, as close to it as you can get it. Now your right elbow is pointing off to the side here. We want to very slowly bring that right elbow back behind us. We start to feel a little bit of a stretch in that right shoulder. So make sure you're sitting up nice and tall here. If you want to go a bit deeper, you can start to bring your left ear over your left shoulder, still encouraging that right elbow to point back behind you. And we'll relax here. Use that sensation within your shoulder like an anchor for your mind. Each time you notice it drifting away, pull it back with whatever you're feeling. You can start to come back now, undoing everything, reversing out of the pose, shake off the shoulders if you need. And of course, we'll do that on the other side. So interlocking the fingers again, bringing the fist over to the left side of the rib cage, elbows pointing off to the side. Let's gently ask it to point back behind us. If you want to go deeper, bring your right ear over your right shoulder this time. Relax into your pose and just enjoy whatever sensation you're feeling. Whenever you're ready, you can start to come back to center, fingers back out in front. Again here, do whatever you need to do. Release any little bits of tension that have gathered around your neck or your shoulders. And then you can come back to your most comfortable way to sit if you're not already there. Alternatively here, you can lie down on your mat. It's always a good idea to take a few minutes after yoga practice to let the body soak up everything that you've done. If you want to do a 10 minute guided relaxation, I do have a video for that. So you can go and do that now. Otherwise, we'll just finish up our practice here as we started it by taking a few nice deep breaths. So close your eyes. Lengthen your spine, relax your shoulders, loosen up your jaw, take a big breath in. Exhale, get rid of anything that you don't want to bring with you. And repeat a few more times. Find that connection to your light, your positive energy. In doing this practice today, you have strengthened that connection. So I hope you can bring it with you for the rest of your day. Let it shine brightly. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed this 20 minute practice. 
as always it really helps me out and I'm always so appreciative of thumbs up comments or subscriptions to the channel don't forget about that playlist for your next practice I'll see you there but until then goodbye